Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to paint an easy watercolor cherry blossom painting. Let's get started. I began this painting by first sketching out my cherry blossom flower onto a separate sheet of paper. After I was sure my flower looked good, I then transferred it onto watercolor paper. You can see example of this if you click up in the top right hand corner. I started with the stamen, which is made up of several small lines. Some will be longer and others will be shorter. Then I created two flower petals off of either side of the stamen. These are long, messy, oval-like shapes. Then I filled in the other three petals all around the stamen. Each flower will only have five flower petals. I then drew another flower, then I connected them with a long, thin tree branch with a couple lines coming off to create space for another flower and a couple flower buds. The flower buds are pointed little circles on the tip of the stems, and then I added one more flower to the very end of the twig. With a little bit of practice, I know you can draw this flower. I did leave this section in real time so you can see me draw the whole flower in detail, but there are time stamps in the description box below if you would like to skip to the next step. Now that I have my cherry blossom on my watercolor paper, I am going to wet my entire page with clean water. Then I took my large round brush filled with my light wash of pink paint and I tapped this color in using the belly of my brush on the sections I want my flowers to be. Then I cleaned my brush and switched to my light blue paint and began to fill in the rest of the area with this color. I switched my paint color again to a darker blue and added a few sections of this color to give some contrast in the background. Thank you. 
After the first layer completely dried, I went back in with a light wash of pink paint and filled in the flower petals and the flower buds. Then I tapped a darker wash of pink paint into the center of the flowers to give a natural shadow in the flower center. If the center of your flower gets too crazy, bleeding into the rest of the flower petals, just take a clean, dry brush and soak it up and reapply some darker paint into that center section again, and it should bleed less. Then, while the flowers are still wet, take your brown paint and fill in that tree branch. Then, with a clean, damp brush, wet the entire area around the cherry blossoms with the water allowing it to touch the edges of the flowers and the stem to create a loose, misty look. Once everything dried, I took the pink paint on the tip of my brush and outlined my flower petals. Then I blended out the outline into the flower. Then I took more dark pink paint and tapped it into the center of the flower again. I did this with all of the flowers and the flower buds. I then touched up my tree branch with the same brown paint, then I repeated the previous step by blurring out the edges of my flowers and tree branch with clean water. After I waited for everything to dry, I added some darker sections to my first flower to show where the petals had folded. Then I took a clean damp brush to smooth out any harsh lines inside the flower petals. Next, I took a dark thick wash of pink paint with a little bit of black added in and I redefined those thin lines we first drew in the center of our flower. With the remaining paint on my brush, I added some structure lines to the bottom center and top center of my flower petals. This was just to give some natural shadowing to those flower petals. Then I took some more dark brown paint to sharpen up that tree branch. Lastly, I took my white gel pen and added some highlighted sections to a couple spots on my flower petals. This step is optional, you only need to do it if you feel like your flowers need a little bit of highlight. And there you have a loose cherry blossom watercolor painting. 
This painting will be for sale over on my Etsy shop. I'll have a link in the description box below if you'd like to check that out. Thanks so much for following along today. Here are a couple more tutorials you may also like.